Here was Scott Turley. Look, he's making lunch, cutting an onion, doing it all. How's yeah. car here today, man? Uh, it's pretty good. I'm, uh, we're just a little snug in the middle and uh, not too bad up off the corner, but you know, on older tires, we're able to do 16 teens and O's and stuff like that. And uh, we tried to put on new tires, it tightened up a little too much for us. But uh, hopefully, we we'll get that adjusted right in when it comes qualifying. We can get the extra speed we're looking for out of it. I think. If we can get into the low 70s, I'll feel pretty good about fitting and getting the top 15, not the top five, but the top 15. Yeah, and that, that top 15, they've kind of threw everybody for a loop here. What they're doing, they're going to start all the cars, but you're still going to have to run a heat race if you don't make it top 15. How do you find the balance between running wide open to get a good spot and not tear your car, knowing you're going to be in the race anyway, if you, if you do have to run a heat race? I, yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, I guess you just uh, run what, what you feel like your car will give you, and uh, I mean, the race is the one that pays, the heat race is done. If you're right down the heat race, there ain't no point in that. But uh, I think, uh, I mean, you're going to have to buy four new tires anyway. So, you know, every position in the heat race is two or three on the track, you know, when it comes time to the race. So, uh, you know, I'll probably, I'll probably try to, you know, push and see what I can do in the first part of the heat and, and, uh, and then just ride for the rest, I guess. But, I mean, if you're in the show, you're in the show. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but you're not planning on running a heat race, are you? Not planning on running it, man, but, uh, you know, me and qualifying don't always go too well together.